Hi, I'm Katie. Hi, I'm Jeremy. We're here to talk to you about setting file associations by default using Policy Pack and PDQ Deploy. That's right. So we've all seen this before. You've got a PDF and what a opens? Windows 10 Edge. Everybody loves that, right? No. No. Nope. What do people really want? Probably Adobe Reader. I think so too. Usually do. So uh, we've got another example. Over here, we've got a video. Mm -hmm. Chances are you're expecting that to open up in Windows Media Player or, or something. Something that you want, like yeah. maybe VLC Media Player. Yeah. And last, you want to send an email to somebody by clicking on a mail to link. Yes, we would love to send some mail. At, uh, but we didn't really want it to open up in Windows 10 mail. Probably Outlook or Thunderbird or something like that, right? Yeah. OK. So we're going to show you how to deploy the application so they're installed on your target machines, and then set the file associations with Policy Pack. That sounds great. Why don't you go first? Let's have you deploy Acrobat Reader, VLC Media Player, and Thunderbird to Win 10 Computer 1. Yeah, so I've got my three packages here mm -hmm. from the package library, all the latest versions. Okay. We're going to deploy once okay. to Win 10 Computer 1. Great. And if I wanted to do this on like 100 machines at once, it's easy to do, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. You can pick them from inventory, Active Directory. You can pick them from anywhere. Great. One machine's easy to type. All right. So we're going to deploy those guys. Just wait for this to finish, and we're off to the races, right? Yeah. OK. Well, while, while we're doing that, wh why don't we get started with the policy pack part? We'll just leave this in the background, if that's OK. Yeah. We'll head over to our management station. Now, to save a little bit of time, I pre-installed those same applications on my management station. However, if you have a weird scenario where you want to like take some other machine that you don't have an application pre-installed, we have that covered too. That's a different video. So we'll go ahead for our, our policy pack computers here. Let's create a new GPO and do um, everyone wants these associations. So just to be clear, this uh, Win 10 Computer 6 would be like your machine or wherever you manage your group policies from currently. Exactly right. Wherever you got the GPMC, you've got the Policy Pack Management Console built right into the GPMC right here. So we'll do this on the computer side. We'll go to Policy Pack, and we'll go to File Associations Manager for Windows 10. If you ever tried this on Windows 7, it was really pretty easy. On Windows 10, it's like near impossible, which is why we try to make it drop dead easy. So what we'll do is we'll click Add a New Policy here, and you know, most people don't know what I'm about to say, that PDF is not the only thing that, say, Acrobat Reader can do. So sure. if you'd say PDF rule by way of example and just type PDF here, we're going to note when we click on Select Program, we're going to look at all the things on this machine that claim it can do PDF. And turns out there's a, a couple things that can do that. Yeah. But I'm going to go the next mile. Actually, I don't want to just do PDF. I want to do all the things Acrobat Reader can do. Give so it all of it. All of its juice. All of its default. Exactly. You got it right. Add Policy Product Wizard. And I'm going to pick the same application, so simple mode. We'll pick uh, Acrobat Reader DC. It's not just PDF. It's like seven things. Look at all these things that, that Acrobat Reader really wants in order yeah. to be perfectly associated. So we'll check all those guys. Click Next. We make a little collection for you. And click Finish. And you are done. If we look inside here, we've got, boom, all seven all ready right. to go. Let's talk about uh, see VLC Media Player next. Let's do that exact same step for Windows uh, VLC Media Player. We'll do new policy for product wizard. We'll click on simple mode here. We'll pick VLC. It's probably toward the bottom, so I'll just type it out. VLC. Take a guess. How many how many associations does VLC Media Player have? Oh, it can have so many. So many. That is a perfectly fine answer. Okay, we'll go up. Oh, let's look take a look. It is a freaking lot of them. So we'll just click on all. Click on next, and we've got the little thing ready to go here. Click on Finish. Let's take a look at the actual number when we click on it here. Let the computers do our counting. Yes. So we go all the way to the bottom. It's so many, so many. MP4s, MP3s, blah, 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 blah. It's 125. Ah, 125 <laughs> things that they claim that it can do. All right. And then the last thing we said we wanted to do was to do to change over the mail program from like the Windows internal mail to something more graceful. So we'll go to Add a New Policy. This will be a simple one. And this is actually not an association. This is a network protocol. So yeah. we'll call this Mail to uh, Rule. OK. And then we'll make Network Protocol here. And we'll call this Mail to. And we'll select a program again on my machine, the machine I'm on. We're going to figure out what, what applications claim they can do uh, mail to rules. Oh, let me go ahead and give that another shot for greatness here. 
There we go. So we'll go ahead and pick Thunderbird as our thing. And so we have another, we have a customer that's like, we're going to the all Google channel. We're doing the all Google thing. And sure enough, if you want to make Chrome be your mailer, it'll absolutely do that. But we're going to use Thunderbird in this example and click OK, and we're ready to go. It's as simple as that. Let's go over to, well, can you tell me if, if the packages made it there? I guess we can. Sure. Let's, we, let's pop open deploy and look. Go ahead, let's pop open deploy and look. I can see. We're back BSC. over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it looks like we are about partway done with Thunderbird. Okay, so. so still got Thunderbird in the in the wings. All right, so while that's cooking with gas, let's take a look at it from another angle. Let's go to Control Panel because I like to see it this way because I'm an, I'm an old school guy. Yeah, so we, so gotta, we should probably by the time we get that open, we should see Thunderbird installed since that's what it was. Almost, almost there, not quite. Okay. All right, it looks like all of our deployments are done here. Okay. Uh, we've got Adobe Reader, VLC yep. Media Player, Thunderbird. All successful. All nice. Done. Super nice. Yeah. So let's go back over to yeah. the 10 computer and look at the control panel. I would love to do that. Let's go back to control panel here. And I like to check it out because I'm an old school kind of guy. And see, and see, yes, I see all the things that I am expecting. Now, now, in order for this policy to kick in, two things have to happen. The first one is you got to get the actual group policy object down it has in the to machine. Apply. It has to apply first. Yep. But this one is a little extra special. You have to log off and log back on to see the actual final results. So we're going to get the GP update first, log off, log back on, and then we're going to see the final results in play here. So we'll wait for this to finish. We'll then go ahead and close the window and then log off. There we go. Go ahead and log off here. We'll sign out. And then we'll go ahead and relaunch Win 10 Computer 1. And I think I know the password. They have a little oh, cheat sheet here. There we go. That's good because I don't know that password. That, I do like the account name, though. Tony Blurp. All right. Now we're logging back on. And, and, and boom. Just like that. Changed. All right. So let's go ahead. PDF. Do you think it's going to launch uh, the right thing? It certainly looks like it. Here yeah, we go. Right icon right there. Yep. That looks like the right thing. It's promising. All right. It's only oh, getting, oh, that, of course, Acrobat Reader doesn't cooperate. But that's not my problem. All right, so there we go. There we go. Acrobat Reader's doing good. Now you can even see the little VLC media player kicking in right there. And there we go. Check There's that out. Lexi doing his, doing his thing. And then finally, mail to. We're going to click on the, on the link. And before it was running Windows Mailer. And now, da 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 da. Thunderbird. Thunderbird. There we go. So just like that, you can use PDQ Deploy to deploy the applications you want in your endpoints, and then use Policy Pack to do the magic to marry the right association to the right file type. Yeah. So simple. So simple. That's it for us. Yep. I'm Katie. I'm Jeremy. Thanks for watching.